Are you struggling with slow bulk inserts in MySQL using Entity Framework Core? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into how to speed up those inserts and make your database operations much more efficient. I totally get it. Waiting 60 to 70 seconds for a bulk insert can feel like an eternity, especially when you're working with a list of around 10,000 objects. It's a common frustration for developers, and it can really slow down your workflow. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked about how to efficiently insert a large number of objects into a MySQL table using Entity Framework Core. They mentioned that the regular save method is just too slow. Sound familiar? Let's explore some solutions together. So why is this happening? The default method of saving changes in Entity Framework Core isn't optimized for bulk operations. It processes each object individually which can lead to significant delays when dealing with large data sets. And stick around. I have a great tip at the end that could save you even more time and effort when working with large data sets. To begin solving this issue, the user should consider using a library specifically designed for bulk inserts in MySQL. One popular option is MySQL Bulk Loader, which can significantly speed up the insertion process. Next, the user needs to install the MySQL Bulk Loader package. This can be done using NuGet Package Manager in Visual Studio or by running a command in the Package Manager console. After installing the package, the user should create an instance of MySQL Bulk Loader and configure it with the necessary parameters, such as the connection string and the target table. Finally, the user can execute the bulk insert operation. This will allow them to insert all 10,000 objects into the MySQL table much faster than using the standard save changes method. Fun fact, did you know that the first databases were created in the 1960s? They were nothing like the powerful systems we use today, and yet they had to deal with similar challenges of efficiency. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution for bulk inserting into MySQL using Entity Framework Core is provided by a user. They recommend the paid package z.entityframework.extensions EF Core. This package supports both .NET and .NET Core. To implement it, first add the NuGet package to your application, then create a parameterless constructor in your data context class. In your business logic, you can use the bulk insert method directly on your context without needing to call save changes. For asynchronous operations, use bulk insert async. The user also explains the purpose of the context factory. It allows you to create a new DB context based on the current context configuration. For more details, you can refer to the documentation provided. Now, let's shift our focus to a different response. An alternative approach suggested by a user is to disable tracking in your DB context. This can be done by setting the change tracker's query tracking behavior to no tracking. This may help improve the performance of your bulk insert operation. Here's a pro tip. Always test your bulk insert methods with smaller datasets first. This way, you can fine tune your approach before scaling up to those 10,000 objects. And there you have it. With these strategies, you should be able to speed up your bulk inserts in MySQL using Entity Framework Core. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on optimizing your development workflow.